from Ireland. But you know, we were um, so so when we were writing this album, Neil and myself, we thought, you know, we'd love to write a song about about our country. But um, we wanted to write a song that that I guess you know dealt with positive things and and, and, and and the difficult times with with Ireland as well. Um, and I think it's it would be remiss not to you know write a song about the modern history of Ireland without thinking about the Irish famine and the, the decimation that, that that caused on our country. Um, and it's, it's something that, that when we were talking about it, when we were thinking about this, this subject, we thought, you know, we need to, well, well, let's do some research on this and, and just to see, to get some numbers up, uh, you know, because we, we, we sort of learned about this thing in school as you do, but you know, when you're a, a kid in school, it sort of, because in one ear and out the other, you're thinking of other stuff, you know. Tell the truth, it's just because we haven't been to school in a long, long time. <laughs> 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 it's like, you know. true, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's true, yeah. It's, um, yeah, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> we can't hide the fact that we're, we're, we're in our mid to late twenties. It is hard. <laughs> it is hard to believe. Oh, you know. oh, not shaving is just a disguise. <laughs> but you know, uh, yes, yeah, so, so like we did, we did do, do you know, we did look into some of the the, um, the statistics and stuff around the the, the Irish famine, and uh, some of the numbers were shocking. I know, yeah, we discovered like you know, I mean, there's four four point five or so uh, million living in Ireland at the moment, and back in 1841 it was it was 8.2 million. Within ten years. There was two million, nearly two million less, just from uh, people emigrating, forced to emigrate, and uh, from starvation too. So it's like the statistics are just yeah. shocking. They really are. It, it is to think of that you know a country can be decimated in that, in that regard, and people just couldn't see a way out. And so um, the only way out they thought that could be possible was to to get on a, on a ship and leave if they didn't die there. And um, so there were these ships that were left the west coast of Ireland and went here, came to America, came to Canada. And uh, these things were called coffin ships. And I think that, that just sort of tells its own story of what these, these, these ships were. People, a lot of people didn't get on the ship in, on the west coast of Ireland in desperation and never made it, of course, to the other side. They died. The ships were full of disease, ridden with that, ridden with just with, with just starvation. And um, you know, when you think of it, like we were just again, there there was like I think in, in those five year period there was nearly three thousand ships left Ireland and docked in the USA and Canada. Um, and like when you think about that, uh, three hundred people a day left Ireland and arrived in New York. So that, that sort of give you an idea of what the, the population shift moved from Ireland. And I guess when we thought about it too, that's why there's so much, you know, why, why, why the Irish community has, has touched, I guess, so, so far reaching around this country as well, because of, of all these people have come over at that time. We, we thought about the, the idea of, of, of someone standing on, on the western coast of Ireland, looking out at these ships going, looking at your family and friends leaving and going, you're never going to see these people again, regardless if they make it to the other side or not, they're never going to be back. So, you know, there's no emails, there's no Skype calls, they're just gone. And, uh, and so that, that was something that was very chilling to us. We thought, God, that's the way it was. But on the basis of that, Ireland was built to be become a better, bigger country, a uh, stronger um, community, I guess, across the world. And we wanted to write something about that, about the community of Ireland, about the community of this land of a thousand dreams that we talked about. And we thought about this idea of land of a thousand dreams, a thousand dreams, people who had left, or people's relatives who, who, who or sorry, were relatives of people who had left years ago, were now in another country, <coughs> dreaming of what their homeland was. And people at home dreaming of these people who had left 
And so that capsulated into this pride of this country, this land of a thousand dreams. Through this land of a thousand dreams Take my hand Stand where our fathers knelt And watch Atlantic swell And heave on its western shore They pray to God For those they lost And pray she take no more Thank you. 